hello everyone welcome to my new video in this video we will talk about the difference between MDM user scope and MAM user scope under Azure AD under mobility we see Microsoft Intune here and we have MDM user scope here as well as MAM user scope so what is the difference between these two first of all uh, this setting MDM user scope and MAM user scope is only applicable for Windows 10 machines they do not apply on iOS or Android devices both MDM user scope and MAM user scope has three settings none some all so if we select none then none of the users will get this setting in some uh, we will have to select a group uh, and the users who are part of that group get these settings in all all the users uh, part of our Azure AD they get these settings any user which is part of MDM user scope if they register a Windows 10 machine in Azure AD then that will get registered in Azure AD as well as the device will be enrolled in Intune any user who is part of MAM user scope if they register a Windows 10 machine it will get registered in Azure AD but it will not get enrolled in Intune so that is the difference between these two settings for both uh, Azure AD registration and Intune enrollment uh, licenses are required now we will see a small demo here currently I have this Intune users group added to MDM user scope this is a machine uh, and the name of this machine is Windows 10 AD registered this is a work group machine and consider it as a personal user machine in a BYOD scenario and we will register it in Azure AD and hopefully it should get also enrolled in Intune because the user by which I would register this machine in Azure AD is part of underscore Intune users so I will go to accounts access work and school connect So this is my user which is part of underscore Intune users group the device is now registered in Azure AD so let's have a look Azure AD devices so here I see my machine Win10 AAD Reg. It is Azure AD registered and MDM is Microsoft Intune. Now I will change the scope from MDM to MAM and then test. And now I have moved my Intune users group from MDM user scope to MAM user. And I have this machine Win10 personal and now I will register it in Azure AD. Now on this machine it should get registered in Azure AD but uh, not in Intune. It has finished now so let's go back to Azure AD here I see my Win10 personal machine which is showing Azure AD registered but MDM is none and this was my Win10 Azure AD registered machine which is showing Azure AD registered and MDM as Microsoft Intune now you must be thinking that what would happen in this case where my user group is specified in both the places so let me save it and we will do a demo of this as well before I try to register a machine let me remove it so we will do demo on the Windows 10 personal machine
so I'm going to delete it from here and I'm going to disconnect it so it has been disconnected now and let's check in Azure AD Win 10. so Win10 personal machine is not here so let me join it sorry so now let me register it in Azure AD and see whether it will get enrolled in Intune or not. It's completed now. Now let's check in Azure AD. Let me refresh it. Win 10 personal, it's showing Azure AD registered, but MDM is none. Uh, so it has not registered in Intune. Go back to the setting. So my user group is part of both MDM user scope and MM user scope. So in this case, the machine is registered in Azure AD but doesn't enroll in Intune because if a user is part of both the groups or if I select all in that case all the users are part of both these groups the MM user scope will win this is the case only when it is a BYOD scenario it's a personal device but if it is a corporate device in that case what would happen if user is part of both the groups when I say corporate device then the scenario could be autopilot out of box experience in that case the machine will get registered in Intune so that is the difference if it's a personal machine the machine will go in the MAM user scope will not go in Intune but if it is a corporate machine then MDM user scope will win and the machine will register in Intune this thing is also mentioned in Microsoft TechNet article for BYOD devices, the MAM user scope takes precedence if both MAM user scope and MDM user scope are enabled for all users or same group of users. The device will use Windows information protection policies rather than being MDM enrolled. For corporate devices, the MDM user scope take precedence if both scopes are enabled, the device get MDM enrolled. So this was a small demo. I hope you liked it. In my next video, we will talk about the Windows information protection policies and see how they work. I will see you in my next video. Uh, please like, subscribe and share to my channel. Thank you.